I have a collection of 15 pieces that I've uh, created over the last few years uh, and it's a mixture of photography and uh, digital art that's based on my photography. I got into photography about five or six years ago and it, I was working in Los Angeles at the time uh, working in television and I just had a general interest in cameras and I, I majored in film so I've always been interested in cameras but I really seriously got into photography when I saw some of the um, more impressive cameras that some of our directors of photography were using and decided to give it a shot myself. I've been doing photography seriously for about six years. I uh, dabbled in it for a few years prior to that and I've been doing digital art for almost as long, probably about four years. I think digital photography is a lot more stronger for someone like myself than film. Uh, first of all because you get instant feedback, you can see how the shot came out right away. Uh, it's a lot easier to get it to my computer to do edits on or to turn it from a regular photograph into something that's like, let's say, a digital watercolor. I'm not typically a portraiture photographer. I do stick to uh, landscapes and I do some still lifes as well and I do a technique um, called HDR photography which is high dynamic resolution and that kind of creates, it can create a surreal look or even a hyper reel. Uh, and in some photographs it makes it uh, even more lifelike. So I have a 10 inch by 10 inch uh, collection of canvases on one of the walls that are, I call them digital watercolors. They're based on some of my uh, photographs and I use a couple different programs to achieve this technique. One of the programs does let me choose from a, um, several different styles. Not every style works for every picture, but there's certain uh, styles that will actually just uh, bring out um, some certain quality of that picture and um, I just uh, you know I play around with it like you have to do for all kind of um, art and uh, eventually you get the effect that you're looking for. When I do my HDR work uh, because of the technique I use for that where you're taking multiple shots and combining them into one photograph if you have subject matter that is moving let's say clouds or tree branches blowing um, if it's very windy uh, the branches might appear blurry when you combine all three so that you need to really um, try to you know take the shot at the right exact time and then as uh, for my digital photography I have a few um, uh, photographs uh, actually call them images um, and they're you'll see them they're uh, straight black and white and they kind of look like um, almost like drawings but those use many many layers and uh, it takes me um, hours because I'm going and erasing little parts of each individual layer so that from an editing standpoint is very technically difficult. The photographs that I have hanging up in the library right now uh, are kind of a uh, kind of a travel log almost. I have uh, pictures from when I was living in California, I have pictures from here in Massachusetts and I've been back here uh, for about a year now. I've got some pictures from places like Hawaii, Costa Rica, San Francisco, um, so all over the place. So um, every picture has a little bit of a story. Probably my favorite piece that I have hanging up right now is my four foot wide, 16 inch tall panorama that I, um, it's a digital watercolor and uh, it's based off a picture that I shot in Hawaii. Uh, I actually took it uh, on the island that I got married on. So it held some, uh, personal significance to me and I just uh, was really really happy with the final result of it uh, and that was before I even printed it out and then I found a really good printer and it just looks amazing on canvas so I, I love that piece and um, when it's not hanging here it's going to be hanging in my house. My advice for people who want to shoot like I do for photography is to just get out there and take a lot of pictures. Learn how to use your camera, look at uh, techniques uh, look at tutorial videos from our other photographers and just keep shooting because you know eventually you're going to get better it's just a matter of time uh, and then for digital art it's the same thing but I would also say in addition to practicing you know editing and um, learning the programs that you use um, just take some time to figure out what your style is as well. So uh, my exhibit is going to be coming down shortly um, for in the West Bridgewater Library. It's coming down on the 27th of February. However, uh, I am booked into the Bridgewater Library later this summer. Uh, I should be there the months of August and September. 
and I may be finding myself in another library TBD uh, in between now and then. That's going to be posted on my website uh, if anyone's interested in following me. I can be found on uh, digitalmusingsart.com and on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash digitalmusingsart. And if you have an Instagram, I'm at digitalmusings.